family began the evening of March 8, 2007. The little boy went out to play after school, last seen on a nearby swing set at 6.15, reported missing two hours later. Dozens of people spent a week searching for Christopher near the Canal Mobile Home Park where he lived in Brunswick. Investigators began interviewing registered sex offenders in the area. That included George Edenfield, who had moved in across the street from Christopher Barrios just six months before. The interviews led to the arrest of Edenfield, his father David, and mother Peggy. Police had their suspects, but not Christopher. He wasn't found until the 15th of March, nearly three miles from his home, his body stuffed into a trash bag covered with bugs. When the Edenfields appeared in court nearly a month later, Christopher's mother had this to say. Christopher, he was the... Brighten up everybody, you know, make you smile. You just, the smile alone is enough. I mean, it's gorgeous. Never would hurt anybody. I'm going to understand why they did this to a child, period. What's justice for you? Justice for me is to see them get what they deserve, which should be death. The state is seeking the death penalty against both David and George Edenfield. Peggy Edenfield avoided that by agreeing to testify against both. She is alleged to have watched while her son and husband both raped the little boy before killing him. Sheila Parker, WSAV News 3.